So this particular place, Gimpi, where they're shaping the hills? Yes, they were shaping the hills. They actually made the structure in the hills. They made the stones. They had very heavy stones, but they had a form of lifting them. But I'm, I'm getting something to do with um, a, a sponge or, or a gel they made. There's something here that they moved them on, a sponge or a gel, and they lifted them quite easily into place. And they had a lot of markings on them. But they were very strong stones craftsmen. They had a, a primitive lift, they showed me that. And they had a place of worship. Now there's a slab, a number of slabs they're showing me here. Uh, and there's something in these slabs with points in them, like rounded stones. They might have put spears or shafts in these things here, and they did a place of worship. A lot of fire around it. Very, very advanced with the universe. One of the Kabi sacred sites, it's destroying us. Our people, we want to be here with youth. But you, you give us no choice because we'll be lost. Well, we want to protect what is belongs to us. Like the government wants to protect what belongs to them. What about us? Because Kabi means the Seven Sisters. It means Pleiades. Uh, and this is part of the, you know, the Seven Sisters stream. So we're all connected all over the whole country. The culture and heritage of this site has been handed down for thousands of years. Why should the Australian government come in and destroy this? Yet they think it's okay to come here and destroy the spiritual basis for Kabi beliefs. What was spirituality for Aborigines? Oh, the spirituality is their spirit in nature. The, their spirit of that. Uh, it's, it's almost as if the Aboriginal can see his ancestors, see the faces of his ancestors in the rocks. He, he knows who they are, where they are. They were able to travel yes. through space yes. with their spirits? Yes. I'm actually getting some form of uh, interdimensional consciousness or, or, or some hole or a tunnel. It's interdimensional. And they, they've got a lot of connection here to the Pleiades. Did they have anything to do with the Aborigines, with the original yes. people of the yes, land? Yes, they did. They connected to them very, very well. They loved the land and they connected spiritually to the land and their healing because they I'm, what I'm feeling from this rock, the Aboriginal worked with the Milky Way. They worked with the spirit energy, the rainbow spirit, the serpent energy, which they well saw as healing. How did they work with it? They worked with it from their own magic of, they, they worked magic with this, of healing. And they knew about natural foods that healed. Rocky Ridge, or the Gympie Pyramids, has been a spiritual location for Kabi people for thousands of years. It's uh, very ancient, it, it is covered in artefacts, there are caves underneath the site, um, there's a sacred billabong, it's connected to the Seven Sisters dreaming. But its future is in limbo, with the impending construction of the $1 billion Karoi Takara Section D Bruce Highway Bypass. Kabi land rights activist Whit Booker says he's already been arrested for trespassing on the site. Due to go to court on Monday and, yeah, under the cultural heritage laws 2003, well, I'm allowed to go on my sacred sites and protect them. 130 properties have been resumed by the state for the project, including 29 homes or sheds set for demolition. 
Main Roads Minister Mark Bailey says his department has had extensive discussions with the group Kabi Kabi First Nation. This included developing a cultural management plan. It outlines processes the contractors must follow if any artefacts are found during construction. The activists aren't convinced. People don't understand that once we lose something like this, we're all... there's no connection for our people. Clearing for the bypass is due to start over the next two weeks. Simon Nichols, 7 News. Cultural artefacts and significant spiritual sites will be destroyed by the Queensland Government to make way for a road expansion. Cubby elders and supporters are standing firm at the Jaki Kundu site. However, they fear authorities will force the group off the land. This is Jaki Kundu, otherwise known as the Gimpy Pyramid or Rocky Ridge. The area north of Brisbane is set to receive a highway expansion upgrade between Kuroi and Kara. 31. However, Indigenous elders from South East Queensland are standing firm, saying the land is sacred and must be protected. This is a healing site and everyone deserves the right to be able to come here and to be able to sit with us and benefit from this wonderful place. In defiance of an eviction notice, members of the sovereign native tribes of the Kabi Kabi First Nation state have maintained a presence at Jaki Kundu. Indigenous artefacts are scattered across the area, including remnants of standing stone statues and intangible places of significance, such as a sacred women's area. For Whit Booker, it's a case of ensuring the legacy of his people. Well, the importance of this place is to keep Kabi Kabi, Kabi people active and their culture living and um, you know we want to be here for another 100 200 years instead of being wiped out by the, the the government the group say they aren't against the expansion of the highway they would just rather it be built around Chucky kundu rather than through it they argue to do so would be illegal the government needs to obey their own laws it is a crime under Australian law to destroy Aboriginal cultural heritage. You know, you've been known for 40 years to go around. We told you, but you just wouldn't listen, and you still haven't listened. Sovereign native tribes of the Cubby Cubby First Nation state have launched a GoFundMe account. The goal? To raise enough money to launch a legal intervention to prevent the roadworks. 18,000. Because we're sovereign, we still belong to the country. The country belongs to us and each. So we're all connected all over the whole country. And many, many people come here for healing and there are people that come back year after year and they say it's keeping them alive. There are people with cancer, they say if they don't come here, they get sicker. When they come here, they heal. Yeah. It's been pointed out to them, the mm. tangible evidence, the tangible intangible evidence. evidence, yet they say none of it exists. What they're saying is Kabi culture is worthless in their eyes. There are still bunya trees here too and they just want to knock them over. Mm -hmm. Yet the law says they weren't to knock down bunya trees. That has never been changed. It was never repealed so they're breaking their own law. It's mm -hmm. corruption and fraud and it's genocide. tribal people from all over um, this continent, the islands and New Zealand, Hawaii, all over the world.
My department has worked closely with the Kabi Kabi people since 2014, carrying out studies at Rocky Ridge, including comprehensive cultural heritage surveys based on the feedback and long association uh, with this region. All claims of cultural heritage at the site have been thoroughly investigated with reports going back to 1976. No tangible evidence of Aboriginal cultural heritage has been found at the site. When no tangible evidence of Aboriginal cultural heritage was found, the individual who made the original claim over the site broadened their claim to a much larger area. I'm advised the name Jaki Kundu has only recently come into use in respect of the Rocky Ridge site. This is Bo Spiram with Let's Talk. You're back on Let's Talk here on 98.9 FM. I'll, um, I'm still chatting with these mob uh, up on uh, Kabi country. Yeah, I'm with Booker from the Kabi mob from Sunshine Coast or Gympie area. We set up camp on the 25th and yes, I've been here every day. Deadly. Um, every day and night. <laughs> and I guess, how, how long has it been sort of earmarked that, you know, um, this part well, of the country. It was earmarked back in the late seventies, and my elders told them then when they drew the line on the paper. No tangible evidence of Aboriginal cultural heritage has been found at the site. In the late seventies, that this is a sacred site, and nothing really much happened until, say, two thousand and seven, and then a few years later they started talking to us. And two thousand and fourteen, we did a survey with the main roads and um, the archaeologists and that. And I kept telling them it's a sacred site, it's a landscape site. You know, there's stuff here all over the place, it's spread out, and <clears throat> they just don't listen. Mm, mm. You I... know, how much do you have to do to get them to listen? Mm, exactly, you know, um, to the point where, you know, you mob are now setting up. Um, and, and camping here every day. Um, and uh, as I called this morning as well, you were just getting back, um, you know, f uh, from a trip. You know, could you tell us some of the stuff that that you get up to at the camp as well? You know, obviously, you're, uh, I'm guessing, constantly watched by developers. You know, how do you sort yeah. of, you know, maintain, you know, um, presence oh, well, at the camp? <clears throat> we just go do patrols. We go right around the borders just to make sure every hour or so, two hours, just to make sure the main roads haven't started to come in. <clears throat> um, we've tried to do a bit of maintenance on some sites and that and mow tracks because we do have people wanting to learn and to stand by us. And um, so we've had to make tracks to different sections of the site for, to take well, tourists or, you know, people in support. Gondwana foundations of these lands, which is um, yeah, independent yeah. from Bunya. the foreigner Bunya system Bunya from the Northern Bunya. Hemisphere. We all come, we all come together. Yeah. That this was yeah. our yeah. line. Totem, one of our totems. Mm. Sacred law tree. Yeah. Been doing it since the beginning of time. Yeah. And you'll find these everywhere throughout our... East coast of Australia, and this is where they come from. Originally, where they come from? Yeah. They came Every out of their birth from the, the fires of these lands. Through our customary laws, through bartering and trading, at our ceremonies, the Bunyi Festival, yeah. and the Bunyi Bunyi sustained many tribes throughout these lands for centuries. That was our food, our celebrations, and even um, accompanied our law ceremonies that were from here all the way up into Walker and Yugra countries. Down to New South too. Now it's New yeah. South as well. So we're reviving our hidden histories. We're revealing the hidden for all of you to understand the truth of these lands. You people learning from us, we are also learning from you. It's a two-way switch. So we thank you and we're humbled by this experience. To Jackie Kundu is unique because it is a Seven Sisters dreaming site. It's also a water spirit dreaming site. Ancient walls and ancestor figures and other stone structures are important to the ancient history of this land and also to the ancient history of Kabi people themselves. Look up, you can see that there's walls 
There's steps. They look like a bit like a step pyramid. So there's swamp mahogany on there, there's wattle on there. Swamp mahogany we use for making canoes. We've got a forest of swamp mahoganies. So anyone want to go swimming? <laughs> Weeks ago. Knowing that the bunyip trees were here in the age of the dinosaurs, can you imagine dinosaurs not roaming through here? Just look around and just imagine. If we just manage it for the trees that are here to be healthy, they're going to create a canopy and begin to shade it out and make it our job a bit easier. I was going to get a bit of tin and put yeah. it up there. Uh, am I building this up too high or not yet high? No, yet? that's all right. We're doing a workshop this weekend. Today we're pretty much putting together this uh, rocket stove. Kabi people say that their ancestors came here in the beginning times from the Pleiades. Where are the water spirit flows? All underneath this site, it's extremely important. Not only to Kabi people, but to all the other tribes that for thousands of years came here for the Banya law gatherings. The site is threatened with destruction by Queensland Department of Transport and Main Roads. Queensland Department of Transport and Main Roads have been wanting to put a four-lane highway with two off-ramps through this site. Australian laws say that it is a crime to destroy Aboriginal cultural heritage. If they break the law, they're also breaking tribal law. This land was never given or sold to either the Crown or the State Government or anybody else by any Kabi ancestor. I think the more people who come here the better. The come to this site and meet the wonderful people who, who live here doing this amazing work for all of us protecting these sorts of sites that that you know they're essential for our our well-being and our spirituality. People all over the country are struggling to protect their ancient history and their cultural heritage and their culture. Having people come together and share their stories and work together to make change is really important. That story of the star people that came to earth making the beginning of Kabi is so important it, it can't be allowed to be destroyed still belongs to Kabi people and it's been used for thousands of years and Kabi people want to keep using it for thousands of years more.